Welcome to 5 Minutes of Momentum. These episodes are a short 5-minute burst of inspiration, motivation, and massive action. If you need that little kick up the butt to get things moving and to inspire you to take massive action, then every single Thursday I'll be sending you through a 5-minute episode to download, digest, and implement to finish your week off strong. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. I want to talk to you today about pricing for who you want in the room. This was a conversation that came up at a recent event that I went to in America. And look, I probably will eventually stop talking about America, but then I'm going to go again in May and I'm going to keep talking about it. So you're just going to have to suck it up. (laughs) So my mentor was talking on the stage about running events and around uh, creating new offers and new income streams and things like that in your business. And she spoke about making sure that you're pricing for who you want in the room. And it really landed for me. I was like, oh, my goodness, it was almost like a brick had just like hit me in the chest. And I was like, oh, that's going to that's gonna mean a lot more to me. I really need to sit with that and what that means for me and my business. And I think that the reason why it sits with me so much is because I've been really thinking about different pricing for my offers. And I've been uh, talking to so many clients about pricing their offers. And so many times the conversation comes back to, I want to price it what is affordable. I want to price it at a place that is accessible for people. I want to price it so then people can afford it and it's in their budget. And often this is where we can get steered wrong. And yes, we need to do the pricing background work, which I'll talk about in a second, but you really want to think about who do you really want in the room? So what I mean by in the room, I mean, who do you want buying your offers? Who do you want to work with? Who do you want to come to that event? Who do you want to be a part of your membership, your mastermind, your program? Who is that person? And what do they value? And what are they actually not about? What are they willing to pay? What should you charge in order to attract them? Because there are different stages of business and different stages of, of priorities lists for different levels of incomes in people's worlds. So some people value quality. Some people value luxury. Some people value affordability, right? You need to decide who you want to have in the room. Do you want people that are just in that in it because it's affordable or do you want people in there that are going to grow with you and are looking at it as quality as value? I want people in my masterminds that value growth. I want people in my masterminds that are ready and willing to do the work and are ready to back themselves to do that work. And so I've got to price my masterminds at a place that's going to do that. So it's going to activate an element of oh, I better show up and do the work, right? I want that to happen in the price and the investment because otherwise, if it is too easy and you see this time and time again, if it's too easy of an investment, do you know what happens? People don't follow through. People don't take the action. People let all these other things come and be prioritized above doing the work. And so one of those things is like, it keeps playing on my mind with this conversation that I had in the States around like making sure that you're charging for the people in the room. And I saw all the incredible people that they had attracted into this room. And I got to have conversations with so many incredible entrepreneurs at different levels that I was like, if it hadn't have been this expensive, would it have attracted this level of client? And I had to sit with it for a bit because it was really interesting because it was a big investment for me. It wasn't just the investment. It was actually the uh, exchange rate from Australian to American, which almost doubles. And then also plus adding the flights and accommodation and the time away from my business to attend three events throughout the year. So it is quite a big investment. And so for me, I reckon I probably invested the most to be in that room, right? Compared to everybody else because they would have paid in American dollars and they didn't have to travel as far and flights are much cheaper in America. So compared to like the flight that I would have to fly across from obviously here in in Brisbane. So I was like, what made me invest this amount (laughs) into getting in this room, but also the level of investment that they have made to, to attract them into the room. It was really interesting for me to really sit with that. And I was like, if it had been cheaper, would we have gained the caliber of client or caliber of person in this room? And I honestly believe the answer would be no. And I've seen this happen in other containers before. I've been part of masterminds before that were at a high investment level was like a minimum of $12,000 investment. And then what they did is the next round, they actually shortened the time frame. It went from six months down to four months and they dropped the price massively just to get a whole bunch of people in for the last round. And the caliber of, cl- of people, and I'm not saying like they're bad people or anything like that. I, I honestly, believe it was a different stage of business as well and so they were not as willing to invest the twelve thousand dollars but they were super happy to invest the four thousand dollars like it was a massive massive discount um i think it was four thousand four four or five thousand and so 
it's a different level of conversation, a different level of risk, a different level of expectation in the way that we show up in our businesses. And so I want you to think about this for your business. Are you pricing for the people that you want in the room or are you stuck in fear and doubt and worry and you're pricing for affordability and budget? Because the gap, the thing that happens in between is one, the belief in your offer, your ability to communicate the value of what you offer and making sure that you're attracting the right level of client. Write three major things in your business. And this is what I love working on with my clients and my masterminds because you need to get super clear on those three pieces and know how to communicate value based on your ideal client, know who your ideal client is and who you really want to attract and make sure that you are actually attracting them because you could be showing up from an inauthentic place or you could be showing up from a place of desperation or lack or not believing that the clients that you really want to work with will see you as valuable to work with. And so if you're sitting in that place and you're not going to be attracting the right people. So I really want you to think about this. Are you pricing for who you want in the room? Really consider that and have a think about what you might need to do this year in order to adjust your pricing and attract the right people.